I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that I am not the only person who had to rewind that last Daily Double wager and make sure I heard Philip say 19,000. Wow. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and I actually went back and watched that Daily Double twice before pausing and getting ready to do this, because there were six clues left on the board, and I was expecting to have a little bit more time. And I guess there's some sort of mercy rule in Jeopardy, because this is a humongous lead. And it makes Sean look bad, because he played a really good game, and now he's losing by $25,000, which... You know, there's nothing you can do about that. I, man, I, my hat is off to Philip for making that wager. And I'm going to discuss what he could have done in terms of math. He doesn't need to tell me, or he doesn't need me to tell him about math. Wow. All right, let's see what the final Jeopardy category is first. Category Business News 2015. All right, well. Let's take a look at what might have happened had, uh, Philip calculated other possibilities. So as I said, there were six clues left. There were everything, a full category, minus 1,200, and a 400, 800. So if, um, if Philip wants to lock it up now, if there are no clues coming, Sean could double up to 27.2. Easy to see, Philip could wager 8,000 and be fine, but it's 76.01. If he does wager 8,000, he's have 11.6 on the downside. That's... Great position for him if it's a tough Final Jeopardy clue with proper wagering. It's actually kind of fun to calculate that one because Kristen could play spoiler. Let's assume that there is time for three more clues. So if Phil gets it right and gets a huge lead, he's going to want to go for the top box, 400, and then force Sean to get it right and get control of the board and then go to the bottom. So let's say uh, Philip wager something, gets the LA double right, Sean gets the 400, the 1600, the 2000, that's $4,000. He's gonna have 17.6. If he doubles up, he's gonna have uh, 35 to. So that means that's 16,000 rounds about 15.6, and that's pretty close to what Philip wagered, 19,000. It's a, it's a very good wager, it seems dumb. It seems like, oh, if he gets it wrong, He's going to have 600, and he's not going to have a chance in final. Well, now he's got a chance to win, I don't know, fifteen or $50,000 if he wagers with a lot. Of, I'm guessing he will go big here. It's a business category. He's a math professor. And, man, if you come on the show and you know you have a good base of knowledge and you get Daily Double in a category you like, go for everything. i got to say that's one of the regrets that I have from my appearances on Jeopardy. The very last Daily Double I got. $800 clue in a chemistry category. I was a sophomore in college. I knew almost everything about basic chemistry. And with $12,800, I wagered $4,000, which coincidentally is the same amount that Katrina wagered on both of her final daily doubles and, of course, $4,000. I guess I was ahead of the curve there. But if I'd wagered everything, I would have had a huge toll going to final, and you know I would have won for sure, but I always think back to... What would have happened if I had gotten that and I had 38,000 heading to final and somehow Grace, who ended up beating me, had 19-2? I would have wagered a ton. Watch out, Roger Craig. Just kidding. Wouldn't have been that much, but go big if you like the category. Even on the last clue, I like that wager. All right, uh, we're almost to the end here. No one should do anything, I guess. So I'll fill it with 38-6 going to be uh, 30,000, I guess you could be. No, no. Why do I say that? Uh, 38.6 minus 13.6 is going to be 25. So up to 10, 11.4, I guess. 11.399. All right. We're seeing Pat and Vanna now. And uh, here's a little. So Sean, good game, man. That's just really bad luck. He ran against a guy who knew how to wield a daily double. Here is the clue, players. In July, 
It replaced Toyota as the world's largest automaker. In September, its stock price fell by one third. We have 30 seconds. Good luck. So why would its stock price fall? Because it was embroiled in a huge scandal where it made up results from a test about environmental impact. So if you're following the news last year, and this is this is one of the reasons that Ken Jennings and many other Jeopardy champions have said they got good at trivia by reading the news, because things like this pop up all the time. And this is not current events necessarily, except VW is dragging its heels right now, but... Stock price fell because of the big scandal. Kristen, we come to you first. You had four thoughts. Echo in here for that? And you picked Honda, and then you went back to Toyota, which was mentioned in the clue. So you're wrong on both of them. And it'll cost you everything you had, dropping you to zero. Let's go to Sean Cullen. He had 13,600. He came up with Volkswagen, and that response is correct. Yes, they falsified some tests. And it adds fifty nine ninety nine, taking him to nineteen thousand one hundred. So the reason for that is if Sean had missed, he would have had eight thousand one. Set a one day record on our program. He could. He came up with the correct response. Yeah, son. And That's right. Oh no! Why did you get the extra hundred? Wow, man. Man. Wow. You know, I've had a lot of uh, favorite contestants in the last 30 years since I've been watching the show and I was in diapers. I'm sure I don't remember too many from back then. Definitely remember watching Super Jeopardy 1989. Or the 1990, whatever. It's all the same. But Philip, definitely up near the top of the list right now. Plays the game well. Very humble, very likable personality. And listening to his voice in that interview, a very touching subject, by the way. Uh, I had a lot of good math teachers over the years, and I would have loved to have had him as a professor. So, Philip, if you're taking private students online, let's talk. All right, he is a tough opponent, and... Uh, you never know. One of those clues might come back to bite him. And uh, we'll see if that happens tomorrow. And I hope you will join me then, right here, on the final wager.